and welcome to Simplex Cuisine. My name is Harper, if did not know, and to celebrate three years of Simplex Cuisine, I am going to go back to my roots, aka a Kraft mac and cheese style video, but instead of eating Kraft mac and cheese only, I am going to compare and contrast four different types of box mac and cheese. So we're going to compare and contrast each one and then talk about each one, talk about what I like about, what I don't like about them, so more or less pros and cons, and then finally I'm going to rank them from my favorite to my least favorite. Now I only did four mac and cheese because I literally have only four pans, and then like one didn't even have to have it, but like this was one of the most stressful experiences I've had in a while because they all got done at the same time. So I was just running back and forth trying to get these all figured out. Also, it is really hot in St. Louis right now and um, as you probably see from my glasses are fogging up so it was kind of quite an interesting experience so we're only doing four so from order to you know right to left we have Cracker Barrels boxed mac and cheese. So I've never actually had Cracker Barrels mac and cheese, so this is gonna be a fun experience for me and for you. Um, this has no like dried mix. It was in a bag, which I get really, really worried about because sometimes it tastes like chemicals because they have to stabilize the um, sauce so much so it can like store on the shelf for a really long time. The noodles were boiled instead of microwaved, which was pretty great, also super, super long. And yeah, pretty simple. I mean, they're all really simple, so I'm not gonna say that, but that was my experience with this mac and cheese. Next, we have the famous Kraft mac and cheese. This, as we've talked about before, because I've made videos about this before for my other like anniversary quote style videos for Simplex Cuisine, it is simply boiled like the Cracker Barrel, but instead of you know having a pre-made sauce, you get a packet, you know, dry packet, butter and milk. I bet a lot of you have actually had this before because it's super, super simple and pretty cheap. But I just wanted to like you know kind of like compare and contrast my experiences of making them because maybe those um, experiences or like how they were made will affect how they taste to me at least. So next we have Devour's Bacon Mac and Cheese. It is the only mac and cheese that was microwaved instead of like, you know, manually boiled. Um, it has a pre-made sauce, also some like seasoning packet for some reason, and bacon, which again, I'm a little worried about because of the chemicals. And finally, last but totally not least, we have Annie's Box Mac and Cheese. It is literally just like Kraft Mac and Cheese. Literally the injections are exactly the same, except I hope the um, seasoning packet will be different. Again, dried seasoning, butter, and milk, and you get this beautiful kind. Now, as you probably see, I try to like do um, like two super, super common mac and cheeses and then two kind of like quote unquote specialty ones. Like they were almost four times more than Annie's and Kraft, which I will actually put in my review, or my, you know, quote unquote, my review of all the mac and cheeses, you know, how much are they worth it to me on a, a monetary value. Now, as you probably see, there is one mac and cheese that is missing from this, and that is Velveeta's. I have a known recorded hatred of Velveeta's. I believe that it tastes like plastic, like just straight up plastic. And because of that, when I was putting out this video, I was like, why would I review and taste test a kind of mac and cheese that I know I definitely hate in a video of me kind of quote unquote taste testing new mac and cheeses that I've ever had before. I never had any, which is surprising because you know, it's super, super popular or devours or Cracker Barrels, not even at the restaurant. Actually, I've never actually gotten Cracker Barrels before, which is super, super weird because I'm from the Midwest, only I haven't gotten Cracker Barrels. So yeah, some people say it healthy, some people call it sheltered. You can decide which, but more or less from there. I didn't get Velveeta. Also, it was $4 for a packet, you know, for a box, and I am not gonna waste $4 on something that I know I definitely hate, so I didn't get it. Now, that being said, let us taste test and review each and then rank them, and yeah, that's really all. A little bit of a long intro, but yeah. Also, I haven't filmed in almost like six months, so this is super exciting, but more or less, let us start with Cracker Barrels. So, also, none of these have been seasoned with salt and pepper, you know, beforehand because I wanted to see how they tasted on their own. So if I say, it needs salt over and over again, you'll know why. But, let us begin. Okay, so Cracker Barrels done. Let us go on to Craft.
then devours. And finally, we have Annie's. Okay, so I've had each and every one, a little couple of bites of each, and let's talk about them. So, good old Cracker Barrels. First off the bat, it tastes a lot like Velveeta. You have that slight chemical taste, way more than any of the other ones, much like Velveeta, but it's not as chemically or like severe than Velveeta's, and it has a slight, like just difference in how it's kind of like you could say mellowed down to a point where you have like a first like a little bit of a tango Velveeta chemically and then goes back to mac and cheese. It's nicely well seasoned for what it is. It's not very well seasoned so I say well seasoned. I'm having my standards incredibly low but honestly it's not the worst but because it tastes a little bit Velveeta I'm a little like worried about it. Also because it's from, you know, an actual restaurant, I'm kind of like, come on guys, you could do better. And I'm very hopeful that this does not taste like it does in the restaurant because if it does, they have issues. Next one is Kraft, which really kind of let me down. This was incredibly watered down. Like it had no seasoning, of course, because you know, no seasoning in the beginning, but it just, it tasted like watered down pasta way more than it should ever. And I'm not sure that's because I had to wait for a while because I had to like film all these at the same time and sometimes the pastas were like sitting out. But this one also sat out for a while before I, you know, cover covered it with stuff. And for some reason it still tastes okay, whereas this tastes like watered down pasta. Um, at the same time, the butter and the milk did not do anything. And honestly, I was incredibly disappointed with this bowl of pasta because I am so usually excited for crab mac and cheese. But let us go on to Devours. Now, same thing kind of with um, the Cracker Barrel. You can definitely taste the chemicals. I'm not sure why, but like they all use the same chemicals, which might make sense to you, but they all kind of taste the same, like Velveeta, this Cracker Barrel, and this Devour. They all have like the same kind of like chemical taste, and they're all like pre-made sauce packets, which might be a coincidence that is not coincidence, it's an actual comparative like factor. Like they're using the same chemicals or like the same stabilizers. But honestly, it did not taste as overwhelming as the Cracker Barrel and definitely not as overwhelming as the Velveeta. And I'm betting that's mostly because it has bacon and also seasoning packet. The bacon and seasoning packet do an amazing job making this taste way better than it should. So honestly, it's pretty great. And for a four minute meal, not that bad. As usual, my standards are lowered because of this, but I would give this pretty good solid like rating. This is not as bad as I thought it was. It just is kind of small for what it is, which is a very big con and it's incredibly expensive. So the value of it is kind of lower because the prices are overinflated for this size. If it makes sense to you. But finally, we have Annie's. Has the same issue a little bit with the Kraft Mac and Cheese where it's a little bit watered down, but it's not as watered down as Kraft, and it has a little bit more tang, probably chemicals, but it tastes honestly better, and I actually really liked it. The butter came out a little bit more than it did with the Kraft, and honestly, it was enough differences between this and Kraft, especially because, you know, you can definitely see it by the coloring, that I honestly really liked it. But from there, what is my ratings? You know, how do I, you know, rate these on my scale of like best to worst? Actually, I'm gonna do best to worst because I'm right-handed and I'm weird that way. But number one, least placed, last placed will be craft. Again, it was just watered down and maybe my expectations were a little higher because I'm used to this, you know, nostalgia, but it just tasted bad and I'm not happy about it. I think it's mostly because the noodles were a little bit overcooked, but I was not a fan. And because of that, I will give this last place. So, second to last place, AKA third place, but I want to give that beautiful bronze medal award to Cracker Barrel. Again, the chemicals were there and you could definitely taste it, 
but for some reason they went away after a while but honestly I kind of liked it and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was but it definitely could be better but more or less silver medal third to last place aka second I'm gonna stop doing this thing but more or less second place we have devours again it definitely tastes chemicals but because it had the crutch of the bacon seasoning it tasted pretty great and I wasn't mad about it and so of course we have finally gold place we will have Annie's. Oh shoot, I just dropped it all over my... Ah! But from that little um, mix-up, Annie's. Again, I really liked it. It tasted a little bit like Kraft, like a lot like Kraft, but the differences were there, and because this bowl was so disgusting because, you know, it was overcooked, which might have been my fault, but might have also not been my fault, because they asked for a lot of time for this pasta, and I was a little worried that, like, they asked for too much time. But more or less, I really liked it. It was not overcooked. It tasted pretty great. The seasoning was definitely chemically, but, like, not in the disgusting Velveeta way, a.k.a. the good chemical way, which, again is terrible, but you know, when we're taking snacks, you have to take the good stuff when you can. But more or less, I'm gonna give gold place, second place, first place, oh my gosh, it's too hot in here, I am losing my mind, to Annie's. So, that is my rating from best to worst of the box mac and cheese at my local grocery store. Honestly, I would say when it comes to like actual rating, like, you know, are they worth it? Craft, it costs like one dollar, which is not that bad, but usually you can get a like cheaper, like off-brand version of it at your like local grocery store. For instance, I go to Schnook, which is like a Missouri local grocery store chain, and literally tastes the exact same thing, and it's like 30 cents cheaper. So if you can find the cheaper off-brand kind, you can, but don't buy all these because I've had bad experience with all these mac and cheese, mostly because it tastes super, super watered down, like worse than this, which is saying a lot. Cracker Barrel, for like $4, it's not worth it. Just, that's it, it's not worth it. This, honestly, it's not that bad, but you can literally buy bacon and then buy Annie's, put them together, you have the same thing, and it will literally be cheaper. This is like 120 something, whatever. And then bacon is usually like two, three dollars. But you're gonna use all the bacon for it. You can still have bacon like later. You know, you're not gonna use all the bacon in this dish. So literally, when it comes when it comes to prices, it's cheaper. So as amazing as this is for what it is, you have a better, cheaper version. And finally, Annie's. It's pretty great. Um, literally, it's the exact same thing. But whatever the seasoning they do with Annie's versus what they do with Kraft. It tastes pretty great. Also, this beautiful luminescent orange color is quite remarkable. But from there, and the lighting changing drastically, I want to say that's really all for the video. So comment below your favorite box mac and cheese, and then your thoughts about these mac and cheeses. Do you like Annie's? Do you like Kraft? Do you like Velveeta? Comment below all of your suggestions, and if you hate Velveeta as much as I do, please comment below so I feel vindicated because I have too many of my friends who like Velveeta, which makes me feel very, very sad for them and also like would you doubt that maybe I'm going crazy but more or less for my rambling if you like this video click like like if you want to see more from moi just subscribe I hope you have an amazing day I will see you next time and as usual goodbye